Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we are going to study the classification of signals. So, signals can be classified as energy and power signals, as continuous and discrete time signals, as analog and digital signals, periodic and non periodic signals, and deterministic and random signals. Now, we have already dis discussed the energy and power signals in our previous video. So, we are going to discuss the remaining four classification of signals in this video. First is continuous and discrete time signals. For continuous and discrete, we need to see the time axis, that is the x axis. For analog and digital, we need to see the amplitude axis. The continuous time signals are defined for the continuous values of time. So, in continuous time signal, the time is continuous. Discrete time signals are defined for the discrete values of time. So, in discrete time signal, the time is not continuous but we have discrete values of time. Now, for analog and digital, we need to see the amplitude axis. So, analog signal, a signal whose amplitude can take any value in a continuous range is an analog signal. Similarly, a signal whose amplitude can take only a finite number of values or quantized values is called digital signal. By finite, I mean there are two, four, 8, 16, 32 and so on. So if a signal amplitude can only take a finite number of values and not every value then we say that that signal is a digital signal whereas in analog signal the signal can take any value. So let us understand this by this picture. Now if we can have a look this is our signal number A, signal number 1. If you can have a look, the time is continuous over here. If you can see that we have a continuous time. So this signal is continuous. So it is continuous signal. I am going to write over here continuous. Also if you see the amplitude axis, we have seen the time axis and we have decided that it is a continuous time signal. Now we are going to see the amplitude axis. If you see the amplitude axis, the amplitude is also continuous. So the signal can take any value on the amplitude. That is why we say that it is continuous and analog signal or analog and continuous signal. So I am going to write over here continuous and analog signal. Let us go to the next signal which is B. If you can see again the time is again continuous. So this signal is again continuous signal. So this is our continuous signal because the time is continuous. For continuous or uh, discrete we see the time axis. Now the time is continuous so we have a continuous signal. Now what about discrete or digital? If you see the amplitude, amplitude has only two values. That is one value and other value. So we have a finite number of values on the amplitude. That is why it is a digital signal. So I can write continuous and digital signal are digital and continuous signal. So this is our continuous and digital signal. Let us turn to the uh, number 3 signal which is part C. If you can have a look, if you can see the time over here, it is defined for the discrete value. So that is why this is our discrete signal, our discrete time signal. Why? Because the time is not continuous. Here the time was continuous, here the time was continuous, here the time is not continuous. So this is discrete signal. What about the y axis? What about the amplitude axis? If we can see again, the amplitude can take any value. It is taking a very large number of values. So the amplitude can take any value. So we are going to call it an analog signal. So this is discrete and analog signal or analog and discrete signal. So this is discrete and analog signal. Now let us come to the final one which is D. If we can have a look on time, the time is discrete but because it is not continuous like A and B. So this is again a discrete time signal. So I am going to write discrete. What about the y axis or the amplitude axis? We have only two values of the amplitude. We have finite values of the amplitude. That is why it is a digital signal. So this signal is discrete and digital signal or digital and discrete signal. Next is the periodic or non-periodic signal. A periodic signal is one is one which repeats after certain certain intervals of time. So a periodic signal has a time period after which it repeats after every interval of time. So we can write the periodic signal in mathematical form as g of t is equal to g of t plus t, where the capital T is the time period. So this periodic signal is going to repeat after every time period. 
this is for continuous for discrete we should write n and we can write this as g of t plus n of t where n is a discrete number which is 1 2 3 etc so this is a periodic signal usually a periodic signal should start from minus infinity and continue for our forever and continue till positive infinity next is the deterministic and non-deterministic signal are deterministic and random signal deterministic signals can be expressed in mathematical or graphic graphical form for example sine wave the sine wave can be expressed in mathematical as well as graphical form so sine wave is an example of deterministic signals deterministic signals are those signals which has mathematical or graphical form non-deterministic signals are also called random signals or probabilistic signals they cannot be expressed in mathematical or graphical form rather they uh, we are going to use the probability terms like mean like variance like standard deviation or like some distribution to describe the random signals or the probabilistic signals or non-deterministic signals so deterministic signals have a mathematical or graphical form non-deterministic signals have no mathematical or graphical form they are described using the probability terms like mean various standard deviation and distributions Typical example of this probabilistic signal or random signal or non-deterministic signal is noise. Noise signal can be expressed using the Gaussian distribution. So this is all about the classification of signals. Thank you.